A custom-built Greek temple? A gown made from 100 yards of silk? Royalty around the world spare no expense when it comes to their nuptials. Although Princess Margaret's marriage to Antony Armstrong Jones would not last, her royal wedding would forever be cemented in history. Their wedding on May 6, 1960 was the first royal wedding to have ever been televised. Over 20 million people watched from their screens as the couple exchanged vows at Westminster Abbey, and an additional 2,000 guests attended the event in person. According to Express, the wedding likely cost around £26,000 at the time. That would be over £168,000 about $212,000 today. And that's just their wedding. The couple's honeymoon is thought to have been even more expensive. We're talking over twice as much as the wedding itself. Whew. In 1956, an American commoner married a royal in one expensive royal wedding in Monaco. Hollywood actress Grace Kelly and Prince Rainier III of Monaco married at St. Nicholas Cathedral in Monaco on April 18, 1956. According to Harper's Bazaar, Kelly's wedding gown, which was 100 yards of quality silk and 25 yards of taffeta, cost around $8,000 in 1956. That's over $100,000 today. Her father, millionaire John Kelly, also needed to provide a dowry of $2 million before his daughter could marry the prince. In 2010, the Swedish royal family celebrated the union of Crown Princess Victoria and Daniel Westling. The ceremony took place at the Storkirkan Cathedral in Stockholm, Sweden. The couple's big day was broadcast on television and watched by nearly 5 million people. An additional 200,000 people took to the city to get a glimpse of the bride and groom. According to Sweden's The Local, the affair was estimated to cost $2.63 million. According to Swedish royal treasurer Jan Lindman, approximately half was set to come from the government, aka taxpayers, and the rest would be the responsibility of the king. Just as the world was going through royal wedding withdrawal after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's nuptials, Princess Eugenie married her longtime partner, Jack Brooksbank. The two were pronounced husband and wife at George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, the same venue Harry and Meghan used. Express has reported that it's believed the royal wedding likely cost about $3.3 million. Harper's Bazaar has estimated that Eugenie's wedding gown alone likely set the royal family back by at least $135,000. All such things come at a pretty penny. How would you describe each other in just three words? She's this bright, shining light. Spending a few million bucks or so on a wedding may be hard to fathom, but that's really chump change compared to the cost of Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece and Marie Chantal Miller's wedding. The couple wed at St. Sophia's Cathedral in London back in 1995. Miller wore a pearl-encrusted Valentino gown with a 13-foot Chantilly lace train, and it took 25 seamstresses a whopping four months to create. The wedding even included a custom-built Greek temple and garden. All said and done, the New York Times reported that the wedding set the prince's parents back a total of $8 million. Prince William and Kate Middleton had one pricey royal wedding. Business Insider has said that their 2011 wedding totaled an incredible $34 million. It has been revealed by CBS News that all but $2 million went toward paying for security. A large portion of the leftover cash went toward Kate's stunning Alexander McQueen gown, which carried a price tag of nearly half a million dollars. Although it's not uncommon for the British royal family to foot the bill for the majority of royal wedding-related expenses, Kate's family reportedly contributed a great deal to the couple's ceremony. We do get it, William. Weddings are expensive. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding in May 2018 wasn't cheap. In fact, it was more expensive than Prince William and Kate's wedding. Ahead of the couple's big day, the wedding planning site Bridebook revealed that the affair was expected to cost over 100 times the price of the average wedding in the UK. The couple's wedding was estimated to have cost between $40 million and $42.8 million. The venue, St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, was thought to be the single highest expense aside from security. No, it wasn't a cheap day by any any stretch of the imagination. However, the royals paid for most of the bill. Monaco's Prince Albert II married Charlene Whitstock in 2011, and much like Prince Rainier III and Grace Kelly's royal wedding, the modern-day couple's wedding was uber expensive. According to the Los Angeles Times, the wedding costs tallied up to $70 million. The wedding took place at the Royal Palace in Monaco. Despite the glitz and glamour of the wedding, though, rumors took center stage that day. Some claimed Whitstock was suffering from cold feet and was going to call the whole thing off. The couple did indeed get married and are still together. That was true love. 
Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer's union in 1981 was not only a big day for the royal couple, it became the most expensive British royal wedding of all time. The wedding was reported to have cost anywhere from $70 million to $110 million, according to Business Insider. Diana's wedding gown alone cost six figures, the train of Diana's wedding dress was 25 feet long, and believe it or not, her veil was even longer. Factor in the sky-high costs of the couple's beautiful venue, decorations, and florals, and you can see how this wedding truly became the wedding of the century. Um, I don't know what you thought of me. Pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> The Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark had a lavish royal wedding that was the perfect happy ending to their fairy tale romance. Frederick first met Mary in Sydney during the 2000 Olympics. After the prince happened to meet the then marketing executive at a bar, the pair started a long distance relationship. She even had to learn Danish, convert to Lutheranism, and give up her Australian citizenship to make the relationship work. Just one year later, Mary moved to Denmark, and by 2003, the pair was engaged. Their extravagant royal wedding took place on May 14, 2004. The wedding was truly something out of a storybook. Mary wore a stunning off-the-shoulder satin gown with a 19-foot train, along with a lace veil previously worn by Princess Margaretha from Sweden. The Bishop of Copenhagen officiated. Outside, thousands of royal fans gathered and waved flags from both Denmark and Australia. It's hard to imagine a more romantic story or a more beautiful wedding. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan of Abu Dhabi and Princess Salama of the United Arab Emirates got married in 1981, and the pair had one of the most expensive weddings in history. According to Rarest, the price at the time was estimated to cost over $100 million by today's standards. The Sheikh's parents built a 20,000-seat stadium for the occasion. The celebrations reportedly lasted for a whole week, during which the Sheikh rode on horseback to every town in the Emirate to celebrate with his subjects around the country. There were also 20 camels covered in jewels which reportedly carried the couple's wedding presents to the bride on their wedding day. It really doesn't get much more extravagant than this. King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain tied the knot in 2004 at Madrid's Cathedral Santa Maria La Real de la Alandena, and as you might expect, the wedding was pretty spectacular. For a start, the bride was presented with an engagement ring reportedly worth $24,000, according to Express. The wedding celebrations lasted a whole week and included a dinner for 350 guests. Roughly 25 million people watched the ceremony itself on TV and on huge screens mounted throughout the city. Huge crowds turned up even though the wedding took place on a rainy day. The bride's gown, designed by Manuel Portugas, featured a four-and-a-half-meter train. She also wore a Prussian tiara and diamond earrings. In 2004, Al-Matadi Bila Bolkia, Crown Prince of Brunei, married Sarah Sali, a commoner. In a wedding that's considered to be one of the most lavish in history, the pair even arrived in a limo adorned with gold. The ceremony took place on September 9, 2004 in Istana Nurul Iman Palace in Bandar Seri Begawan. They followed Malay traditions and celebrated for two whole weeks. After the ceremony, the pair drove through the streets in a procession featuring 103 limousines and cars along with a marching band. Clearly, this was a wedding that the people of Brunei would never forget. 